Oh, I'm on. <laughs> it's me, furry face. I got an important issue. It's not going to go away. And it's just COVID-19 and Delta bullshit. Uh, <clears throat> what makes it harder now is you can't differentiate. I had trouble saying that word earlier. I had to practice it. Differentiate the difference between having a common cold, just the slight sniffles, you know, or maybe and see some shit got in your nose. Oops, you know. Oh, you have COVID. Oh, boy, you, you have Delta. You're going to have to go home and isolate. We can't let you see the doctor. You know, it's like, for fuck's sake, I had an appointment, you moron. Oh, bye, you're going to go home, you know, and isolate. It's so stupid. They even prevent you from seeing a freaking doctor, which is why I was there in the first place. Ah, oh, and I didn't have to slip on a cough that day, nothing, when this happened to me for real. Fuck. She said, you said you were coughing. They even make their own shit up. I never said that. I said, I'm out of breath. I've been missing my meds for two months. Oh, you have COVID, go home. I said, bitch, you know, fuck. I had to phone an ambulance and go to the hospital the next day. I did go to a hospital that was right across the street from that clinic. Yeah, a six and a half hour wait, and nobody even saw me. One doctor comes in and reads off a couple of names. It was just like this isolation room, you know. So I sat in there with two or three other people on chairs spaced out so people could gawk at us through the window. Oh, there's the, you know, there's the infected ones. Yeah, right. Yeah. I don't think I ever was infected with it. I did have a closely related virus, RSV, which attacked me pretty badly. Fuck. Uh, two weeks and two days I couldn't breathe properly, but anyway. <clears throat> And I do believe the body can prevent anti, or what do you call it? <laughs> Antivirus fighting properties, we'll say, yeah. From having a closely related, not the same, that's what they want to point out, but closely related, shit happens, all right? God, the body can react in different ways. Well, you know, science is science, and, oh, it's only been proven to happen this way. Yeah, okay, so that's the only way it happens? Oh, fuck. You know. Mm. Plus, I dumpster dive, like, fuck, quite often. I haven't been out for a couple of days because I've had everything, you know. Tobacco, weed, I'm okay, you know. But life's good again, a bit of food. But, yeah, it'll be short-lived, and I'll have to go out and for it again, you know. But the point is, if I was going to get this uh, virus, shouldn't I have gotten it by now? It's like, right, you know. I've only been searching for two years straight, well, more than that, but the uh, last two years anyway. Since the virus started, I don't even know when it started anymore. But still, the common cold is out the window. It doesn't exist anymore. Now you have COVID and Delta, which is just a pain in the ass when you need to get shit done. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake. It doesn't mean you have it, okay? It just means they want to think you do. Yeah. Being safety cautious is ruining lives, okay? When you, when you consider being too safety cautious, it's like rescuing somebody, being stuck or crushed somewhere. Oh, we got to make sure it's all safety now. we got our yellow vests on. We all look so cool. Meanwhile, the other person's fucking dying. Just get in there and save the fucking moron. God, there's no common sense anymore. Oh, that disturbs me greatly. So much so, I'm making this video. Why? Because it's therapeutic for me. Not that this problem will go away anytime soon. It's likely to get worse. And linger for freaking years, oh, for fuck's sake. When is the common cold going to come back and just be the common cold? You know, that's my point. All right? <laughs> it was for big, you should have the sniffles or a uh, frog in your throat. <clears throat> oh, you coughed. Or oh, you sneezed. Oh, you've got COVID. Oh, the sniffles. Oh, you're going to have to go home and isolate. Yeah, but I came to see the doctor. Oh, we're sorry. You know, <clears throat> fuck. It screws up a lot of things, okay? Ah. Ah, yeah. I think that's about it. It's not likely to get better. 
people are just going to get more paranoid and think this and think that and then, you know, fuck. Anyway, that's it. Uh, pretty face out. And this is my face. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. Part of it, just go with it, shut the hell up. <sighs> the other two teddies are still soaking wet. I washed them, but they're not dry yet. So. Another day or so before you see Little Pink Bear and his friend, Little White Bear is a Little White Polar Bear. But anyway, where was I? I don't have friends. I don't have a life. That's why I'm back. Yeah. But I have common sense. At least I think so. And I'm down to earth mostly. I do have some stuff that will, you know, really, with the freako meter, yeah, it happens in life, you know. Uh, <laughs> but none of it's made up, it's all true. That's one thing I'm concerned about, is the truth always. I hate lies, deceitfulness, manipulation, that kind of bullshit. It's like, fuck, it takes the shit out of me. And the world we live in, Jesus. Bleh. Pretty well, what, 82% of us are like that? It's like, oh, for fuck's sake, you know? Anyway, I don't really have hope in humanity, but I think God does, and he knows more than I do, so I'm going to go with God on this one, well, yeah, because my hope for humanity alone is it's kind of dwindling, you know, it's not doing so good. Fuck. Anyway, most of you know what the hell I mean, whether it's a slight exaggeration or not. Anyway, uh... Toodaloo kangaroo, see you later, alligator, in a walk, crocodile, and... Ciao now, brown cow. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for more common sense type videos. Bye.